The two powerful storms that hit Southern California came with flash flood warnings, mandatory evacuations, and freeway closures across the region. Here's Valley View News' Paige McIntyre with more on the story. There were flash flood warnings in the foothills of L.A. County, San Gabriel Valley, and Ventura County. Mandatory evacuations were made in cities like Azusa, Glendora, and Montrose due to the high risk of mudslides in the area. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning in all of L.A. County, especially in low-lying areas like Northridge. As you can tell, the flood waters that are rushing down through the drains are coming from the CSUN dorms. Junior Jesse Sun says she does have a car but chose a different kind of transportation for the day. In this kind of weather, I would still bike because it's not as bad, but um, I would prefer to drive if I can. The Los Angeles police were also warning drivers to stay cautious this weekend as the storm was expected to produce heavy rains, making driving conditions difficult. Drivers like Tori Kylander of Northridge are taking an extra precaution on a day like this. Um, I try to give myself a lot of time to break. There's a lot of crazy drivers in L.A. I'm not used to people cutting me off, um, and so I just give myself a lot of space. LAPD just wants drivers to slow down during these kinds of storms. After a few weeks of early spring weather, some businesses in the Northridge area are struggling through this weekend. Get Shave Shift leader Elizabeth Gutierrez says business has been different since the storm. Business has gone down a lot. Obviously, I don't have a lot of customers, so I'm working by myself until the next person comes in. The LA Times reported in just one day, Chatsworth had more than two inches of rainfall. In Northridge, this is Paige McIntyre, Valley View News.